Hello everyone, it's Farmer Georgie here. Now we're up in the Mammal House. And last week I introduced you to our brand new arrivals, our two large hairy armadillos, Tank and Nessa. So I thought today we'd bob back in and we'd get to know them a little bit more and I'll tell you a little bit more about them. So let's head on in and see what they're up to. Then everyone so here we are in the enclosure on my lap here we have nessa so this is our female she's much much smaller than tank so if you come to visit you'll notice tank the male is a lot bigger nessa is only three years old whereas tank is 15 so that explains the size difference a little bit but males tend to get a little bit bigger than the females as well these are very very active animals at night time though these are nocturnal so that's why we've got them up here in our nocturnal house so you can see them when they're at the most active they are brilliant diggers. They spend a lot of their time digging in the wild. They would make burrows. And if they're ever attacked by predators, that's where they run down into the burrows. They've got the armored shells. They show that off to the predator. That's all the predator can see. That's what protects them. So they live underground as that's very safe for them. We've got lots of soil here for them at the farm. So if you come and visit, you'll just see them digging through all of this and all of the nice logs that we've put in here for them as well. So they absolutely love the logs that are behind me. They've made a little uh, sleeping spot under there. So that's where they go and nap. If you can't see them, look under the logs at the back and that's where they'll be all tucked up. In the wild, these guys come from South America. They come from the southern half of South America. So places like Argentina down at the very bottom there. Um, they're very, very common all across South America. So these guys are actually listed as least concern, which means there's no conservation efforts for them. They are doing it really well. But that doesn't mean they go without their threats. Unfortunately, being in South America in those rainforests, they do suffer from habitat loss due to deforestation and things like that. So scientists are just keeping their eye on them just to make sure that they are doing well and they're okay in the wild. Out in the wild for these guys, lots of things are on the menu, but insects are at the very top. So they do dig for things like beetles and grubs, lots of worms and things like that. But they are opportunistic. So anything that they come across, so things like rodents, birds, if there's any, nests that they can find eggs in they'll take those as well so they do like to eat lots and lots of different things here at the farm to imitate their sort of variety in their diet their natural diet we give them lots of different things so lots of insects we give them lots of vegetables just to give them lots of different types of vitamins and minerals mice and chicks for their protein and different types of pellet uh, cat biscuit as well so all armadillos, there are 21 different species. They are all super unique looking uh, animals. So they've got the, those classic shells that we can see here. So those are actually part of their skeleton. They're made up of lots and lots of tiny little bones all joined together. With the large hairy armadillos, these can fold themselves in half, but they can't roll themselves into a full ball like some species can. So some species can, some can't. So our guys here, they fold themselves in half to protect themselves from predators, but they don't roll into that full ball that some of the others do. We are hoping we have our fingers crossed for baby armadillos at some point. This pair have bred before, now, before coming to us, they did have a little bit of a break. They had about a six months break just to give Nessa a little bit of a rest. But we put them back together here at the farm and Tank has been very excited to be reacquainted with Nessa. So we are hoping for some pups in the future. They are pregnant for about 70 days. So let's see in about you know, a couple of months time, we'll see what we get. I am so pleased that we got these two. They are very, very friendly animals. When you come in on the morning, if you kneel down, both of them are straight over climbing up on your knee to say hello. So they're very, very friendly, very, very active. As I did say, it's really nice to have something that you guys can see scuttering about pretty much all day long. So I hope you've enjoyed getting to know them a little bit more. Do come and see them. They're in the very end room in the mammal house up at the top of the farm. But I'm gonna leave it there, guys. So thank you very much. And I'll see you all again very soon. Bye-bye.